turn the heat down today. I used to cooking all of them. Ain't that right? You got to know when the turkey is done. Y'all all right? All right. All right. Well, I know last night we were talking about how we try to look at pattern, behavior, and um, discipline. And um, I appreciate Dr. Keith, as always, for bringing things to my attention that helps to further the better us. That's our whole goal of being here, to make sure we better ourselves, especially with the information, and just looking at how many things that we've been taught and we've been given, and how people have done a lot of detrimental um, things to us. This is the mere fact of educating us through uh, National Geographic or World Geography or any of these other things that they've taught and they've given us. It is actually putting a hamper on us. It's dampened our intelligence, our knowledge, our information. And it's hurt us and not realized that we've been cut off from something. It's been, the hand, been by the hands of wicked men, wicked women. Y'all hear me? Wicked counselors. There's a lot of damage done to us. Whether people realize it or not, there has been a lot of damage. We talked about um, just some of the things that they teach us and they tell us. If you actually just kind of set to look at statements made, you can clearly see these are not statements that he actually said. That he actually said. There are people that have gone in and have given us false information. Uh, if you would, please, kind sir. We're here. Um, let's look here. Yeah, Ukanon. Six forty four. Uh, other brother, you're going to get me uh, Nakum Yah. For those that are watching in that's not familiar, y'all time getting cut off. I just make a few of these videos. I think periodic I made that'll be public. Then after that, they'll be back in the silence. There's some information that's not privy. They're not privy to. Um, Nakum Yah. They don't call. Yah. Which they're going to call Nehemiah. Uh, six. Uh, let me hear about verse nine. And then I want um, Matiyahu. See if it's uh, 20, <sighs> 26, no, no, 27, let me see if it's 27, 27. I'll work it out. We'll work it out. Let's see. This is um, yeah, Ukanon. Yeah, Ukanon. They call him John. Six and forty-four again, Anglo-Saxon. Listen. No anus no can anus come to me. Can come to me. Except the Abba, which have sent me, draw him. Listen. And I will raise him up at the last yum. Tell him what happened, son. It is written in the Nabah. It is written in the Nabah. What happened? And they shall be all taught of Allahim. Allahim, the mighty one. They shall all be taught of the mighty one. Tell him what happened. Every anus, therefore, that hath heard, and had done what? learned of the Abba, Does what? cometh unto me. Beautiful. This is what we try to learn. This is what we're trying to find out. Uh, our, our, we have a destination that all of us have to reach. Okay? So in order to do that, we need someone that can instruct us. So pick me up at the 14th chapter of the book of Yerukanon. Yerukanon. Fourteen one. Other one, you gonna get me um, Matiyahu. Matiyahu. 
Yahoo. 13, 15. All right. You're Uka 9, 14, 1. Listen. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in Allahim. Believe who? You believe in Allahim. Do what? Believe also in me. Why? In my Abba's Beth are many mansions. Beth, which means the land, the temple, the house, the home. Are many? Mansions. If it was what? If it were not so. I would have done what? Told you. But what happened? I go to prepare a place for you. Which means that statement is what? One person? Divine one. Oh, y'all, like y'all scared you to, oh, amen. Amen, amen. Amat. He said, if it wasn't so, I would have told you. So what we say? Amat. We confirming it with him. Amat. That's the truth. What happened? And if I go and prepare a place for you. Tell him what you're going to do. I will come again. To do what? And receive you unto myself. There. Where I am. There. You may be also. Listen. And whither I go, ye know. And? The way ye know. This is what he told him. To my saith unto him. Yahusha, we know not whither thou goest. And How can we know the way? What did he tell him? Yahusha saith unto him, I am the way, the Amat, and the life. That's what we're looking. No man cometh unto the Abba but by me. That's what we're looking at. That's exactly what we're looking at. Let's look at Matayahu 13, 15. Listen. Matayahu Chapter 13 and verse 15. Listen. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted. And this I. This talk about them being the blind leading the blind. Is it 15, 13 is what I want? Yes. Fifteen twelve. Listen. Then came his taught ones and said unto him, Listen. Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? What happened? But he answered and said, Every plant which my Shamayim Abba have not planted shall be rooted up. Y'all hear this? Every plant that he hadn't planted is going to be rooted up. We know this, don't we? What is he waiting on? Oh, y'all yeah, right. That's exactly right. Waiting on Soka. He's waiting on Soka. That's biblical for us. He's waiting on Soka. When the, when the uh, gatherers went out to see at that 13 chapter since we were there. 13, jump down, I don't know, 23. Probably give me 23 since we're there. Verse 18. 13, uh, make it 15, 13, 15. We still want to come back anyway, huh? Listen. For this people's heart is wax gross. Listen. And their ears are dull of hearing. Listen. And their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes. And do what? Hear with their ears. And do what else? Should understand with their heart. And do what? Should be converted. Yeah, and what happened? I should heal them. We got people in sin sick. We got people that, that through the body naturally have illnesses. The way that we're going to heal ourselves from the Ruach perspective, which they'll say spiritually and naturally, which is carnally, is always through the information. Just the mere fact we changed our diets. Y'all hear me? We changed the way we eat. We changed different other things we're doing, removing certain chemicals and toxins and removing away from certain people. All these people became vexation to us. Like he said, these people hard at West Gross, which is heavy. Our hearts are heavy now. Isn't that right? And our ears are dull, and people don't want to hear. They say, there's so many religions. Everybody, I, I don't know what to believe. I don't want to hear nothing. And people's ears have just become to a point they don't even want to hear information. The information they want to hear is something that allows them to do something that goes contrary to what we've been taught. Isn't that right? People don't want to be restricted to anything. People just want to be laws, uh, loose and able to do whatever they want to do. But even as Allahim's, we have to be governed. Even Allahim has governed for himself. Huh? When he got ready to come in even to destroy our, our, our father, even Moshe was able to bring him back. You can do that. But the people, isn't that right? They've already heard how you've been with them by day and by night. And if you should destroy these people, they're going to say that you brought these people out for folly and that you were not able to deliver. 
He said, go ahead and take these people. Go ahead. He said, but in the day, I will visit their iniquity. I will visit it, which I'm going to mean I'm going to punish them. But he realized that he was being brought back because of his covenant. So even as Allah, he, there are things that govern us. There are things even with Yahushua had to govern him. He told him, remove this, what was it? What kind of cup? Bitter. But then he was able to be disciplined and know, nevertheless not, but your will be done. That's the difference. So we all have, they're still governing. People always feel like religion or people are open to do what they want to do. No, you're not open to do what you want to do. Those laws that he put that restrict you are laws he live and he governed by. Unlike these hypocrites we serve under, they are hypocrites to what they tell. They say and do not. That's a different with him. What he says is what he did. He manifests himself in the flesh and show us that these governing laws that he gave us that a noose, a machine could do and live. Y'all hear me? So it's not impossible. It's something that's an actuality that can be performed. And he demonstrated. That's why we had demonstration. Y'all hear me? We have been hearing about manifestation, the showing. That's why he had to put it in the flesh to show us. We have been hearing about I will walk in them. And I will be with them. But we didn't understand how was it going to happen. Then he manifested it to us. Isn't that right? He came to his own. Which means he came in black skin. Right here with us. Dwelt or walked the same street that our fathers walked. Same pathway. Kept the same rituals and covenants. Okay. Let's see. Listen. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, which is a mot. So all that verily, 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 life is but a stream. We ain't know what verily. Who know what that was? You be saying, I ain't know what verily, verily, verily was. Put a hole in that damn boat. Uh, verily, verily. What is verily, verily? Always trying to come get a medieval conversation. They have us speaking medieval. Verily, 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 I see. You are the knot of the piper. <laughs> that many Nabar and Sadiq Anus have desired to see those things which ye see. And what happened? And have not seen them. Y'all see that? A lot of things that we witnessed that our fathers that were before us and now that's becoming manifested to us through the scriptures or the writing of the law. And now we come back in to demonstrate what our first father. Who we take on dead. Faith. What Abraham had was faith. But not without works. Now we had father that came forth that literally saw. He said their eyes seen and their ears heard what the other Nabal. And the people before them desired to see but didn't see. And told me what blessing to them that they saw and heard. And heard. But now we're coming on the scene. We hadn't seen yet believed. Y'all got me. This will make us the children of who? Abraham. Abraham, because he did what? He believed, Allahim, and it was accounted to him for a Sadiq. Y'all hear me? Even a man like Nuak being perfect in his time, in his youth, we come back to a man like Abraham. See, even the Aramaics, these Arabic people, have some knowledge of what we do. When they take on their books and take on their writing from their Quran and other teaching these Arabic people, which are, you know, sets of people that you find, these people even know about us being called Abarim. They actually refer to Noah, Nuak, as Abra, Abra, referring him who was actually the father of Abraham. They still account him back to Abraham. See, everybody knows. They didn't refer to him back as Hebrew. They refer to him as Abra, Abraham, some type of Abar. Abraham Rick, which means they look at somebody disciplined from his teachings or his keeping. See, a lot of stuff they know, they have, they keep, they don't tell us. They leave us all out here bewildered, and we just follow these people and not realize these people make a fool out of us. There's a lot of fools being played. A lot of them. But let's finish this up. Listen. And to hear those things which you hear. And then what? Have not heard them. Listen. Hear ye therefore the mashali of the sower. What happened? When anyone heareth the dabari of the kingdom yes. and understandeth it not, what happened? then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. Yes. But he that received the seed into stony places, 
the same as he that heareth the Dabari and Anon with Shusha receiveth it. That's right. Shusha is the Abari word for joy. Listen. Yet hath he not root in himself. So what happened? Dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the Dabari. Tell him what happened. By and by he is offended. Listen. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the Dabari, and the care of this are writs, and the deceitfulness of riches choke the Dabari, and he becometh unfruitful. Yes. But he that receives seed into Taub ground is he that heareth the Dabari, and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit, and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Yes. Another Mashali put he forth unto them, saying, the kingdom of Shamayim is likened unto a Anus, which sold Taub seed in his field. But while Anus slept, his enemy came and sold tares among the wheat and went his way. Listen. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow Taub seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said, Unto them an enemy have done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? What happened? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Listen what happened. Let both grow together. And what happened? Until the harvest. And sit down unto Sokar. And what happened? And in the time of Sokar. What will happen? I will say to the reapers, do what? Gather you together first the tares, and do what? Bind them in bundles to burn them, uh -huh. but gather the wheat into my barn. Yeah, so that, now when we look at the barn, it's going to be back into the temple. The reason why you use barn, because we, as, as, as the children of Abraham, or the children of Allahim, one of our trades when we first came on the scene was being husbandmen. So when you look at, even when you come to the tithe, you were supposed to bring you all the tithe where? into the barn. So there might be meat in my house. So you had it stored up, so you had to be able to eat. That's why the book said you should eat old store because of the what? Because you've already kept something put up. Now you can go and use this because you're getting ready to replenish. So this all makes sense for us because this is our discipline. Y'all got me? Come on back at the 1513 of Matiyahu. Listen, Matiyahu 1513. Listen. But he answered and said, Every plant which my Shamayim Abba have not planted shall do what? Be rooted up. See that? So when y'all so we already know when it's gonna happen. Isn't that right? We already know when a lot of the great rooting gonna come. You go in and you mess with it at the wrong time, you're gonna wind up putting up something that's actually viable, that's profitable. So you gotta wait and see what it does after a period of time. Even when Yahusha came by, he found a fig tree and it had no feed. He didn't kill it the first time. He waited. When he came back through the second time, now you're in trouble. He cursed that no man eat of it after this point from henceforth. So a chance was given to the tree. If you don't bear nothing, come around the next season, come around the next festival, and you still not bear it, at this point I'll curse you that, you that no man eat from you anymore. Listen. Let them alone. For what happened? They be blind leaders of the blind. And tell them what happened? If the blind lead the blind. What happened? Both shall fall into the ditch. That's the necessity of why we need to follow Yahushua. So you mess around the wrong people. You got somebody blind leading somebody else blind. You're going to have a problem. And he told you what happened. You got somebody got about as much sense as you got. And you need instruction. And you're going to follow them and let them teach and instruct you. Then why both of y'all going to wind up in the same hell hole? Uh, let's come back and look at the book of Nakum Yah. The other one said that 20, Matthew Yahoo 27, 27. Listen. For they all made us afraid, saying, Their hand shall be weakened from the work, that it be not done. Now therefore, O Allahim, strengthen my hands. Yeah. Afterward I came unto the house of Shemaiah, the ben of Deliah, the ben of Mehetabel, who was shut up. And he said, Let us meet together in the beth of Allahim. Man, my, my verse 7. Listen. And thou hast also appointed Nabah to Make preach. Make six and six. Six and six. Listen. Nakum Yah. Other one got me Matiyahu 27. 
Listen. Wherein was written, it is reported among the heathen. It is, it is reported among. Y'all hear what this happened? Where it was what, Brandon? It is reported among the heathen. Well, how was, how was it reported among the heathen? What wherein was, was written. It was written. It was reported among the nations. What happened? It is reported among the heathen, and Gashmu saith it, that thou and the Yahudim think to rebel. And what else happened? For which cause thou buildest the wall. Listen. That thou mayest be their malak, yeah. according to these Dabarim. Yeah. And thou hast also appointed Nabat to preach of thee at Jerusalem. What happened? Saying, There is a Malak in Yehuda. Yes. And now shall it be reported to the Malak according to these Dabarim. What happened? Come now, therefore, and let us take counsel together. Then I said unto him, saying, There are no such things done as thou sayest. Y'all hear that? There are no such thing done as thou what? As thou sayest. What happened? But thou feignest them out of thine own heart. At the 27th chapter of the book of Matthew. Matiyahu 27, let me have verse 27. Listen. Then the soldiers of the governor took Yahushua into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers, and they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe, and when they had plaited a crown of thorns... Back me up. Give me 27. Let me hear uh, 18. Let me see that what I want. That would be 26 chapter. Listen. For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. Drop me down. 22. Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do then with Yahushua, which is called Mashiach? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil it hath he done? 26. 60. Make it 58. Somebody said 57. You just want me to keep going backwards, huh? Y'all faint as this thing in your own heart, huh? <laughs> Listen. But Kof followed him afar off unto the Rosh Kohan palace and went in the and Rosh, sat. Which is the head, the captain, or the chief, or the first. Listen. And sat with the servants to see the end. Now the Rosh Kohan and elders and all the council sought false witness against Yahushua to put him to death but found none, yea, though many false witnesses came, yet found they none. And what happened? At the last came two false witnesses, and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the Beth of Allahim, and to build it in three Yamim. Now, the reason why we went back to look at this, because we can find out how statements can be altered and be changed. That's why it's important for us to look at this. See, we find a pattern of behavior. When it comes down to things that belong to us, statements have been changed. Statements were changed. He said some things, but it just shows you how over the course of time, this is not new behavior for these people. To so take statements that we've made, watch actions that we do, and then you do what they call put a little additives to it. Because you sir, if you heard when Brandon started out in the sixth chapter, he said where it was written. But then he came in and said, you said it. Letting you know these people can say and write a lie. And when they say and write a lie, the first thing we do is come along and we call it true. We won't put a mic for us. Which is, I definitely, with our word, is equivalent to what they'll say, their truth. Their truth is a lie. But we started to look at, this has always been a pattern, even with statements he made. These people have learned how to hear, listen, and alter and change. That's why we're sitting in the rut we in today. Y'all got me? Because a lot of things they tell us and have told us actually makes no sense. It just actually makes no sense when you look down to look at law and then look at conversation. But they condensed our mind and, con and convinced us to accept a certain type of doctrine. At the book of Oriah, Twenty-three. Uh, let's see something. Twenty-three, thirty. Just make it thirty. Other but you don't give me the book of Yasha Yahoo. What are you gonna call Isaiah? Fifty-nine, thirty. Let me say that one. 
I'm going to do a little playing with this a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what he told us in Oriah. Oriah, what they're going to call Luke. 23:30. Listen. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains. Then shall they say to the mountains. Fall on us. Fall on us. We've heard that statement before, haven't we? Where did we hear it from? Kazun told us that. When he came back, when it's time for him to reward those that had killed all of his consecrated ones. They want to know how long. He told them for a time until the rest of your, rest of your Aki are killed in the same manner. These people were beheaded for the truth, for the Amat. And they want to know how long, how long before he's going to avenge. Let's listen. And to the hills, cover us. Listen. For if they do these things in a green tree, I'm telling them what happened. What shall be done in the dry? What you going to do when the tree living? They're doing all this while you were living. What you think will happen when they die? Green is a form of life. That's what we look at when it comes down to summertime. You start seeing stuff sprouting. You see the green. After that, you see when the wintertime comes, everything turns brown. It dies. It almost, in a sense, dies. You see what happens when it leaves. Y'all got it? Listen. And there were also two others, male factors, led with him to be put to death. And what happened? And when, when they were come to the place, which is called Golgotha, there they, were crucif there they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. What happened? Then said Yahushua, Abba, forgive them. Do what? Forgive them. What happened? For they know not what they do. That's beautiful. Let's see what happened over here in the book of Yeshayahu. Make it 59 and 1 right quick first. I know I got it down. What about verse 7? We'll start at 1 and just read it down a little bit. Listen. Behold, Yahuwah's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, nor his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Tell him what happened. Your iniquities have separated between you and your Allahim, so that he and your sins have hid his face from you, that he what? will not hear. So why did he didn't respond to him when he was on the two and they kept crying out, come down? They were making different statements to him. Why didn't he do it? Because of his sin. It separated him. That's why he was on the two. He was high. In the 52nd chapter of the book of Yeshayahu, he said his servant was going to be a stole. He shall be very high because he crucified him on a, on a, on a mountain cap. So he said, behold, he's going to be very high and extolled. Huh? He told us that was going to happen, but then we learn why. Because of your sin and your iniquity. I had to separate and put it in there. Guess what else happened? He can't hear you. He couldn't hear you. He was so high up, they were yelling and screaming. I couldn't even hear you. Listen. For your hands are defiled with blood, yeah. and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue hath muttered perverseness. None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for a mot. They trust in vanity. Because you know what happened with that? He asked them, which of the two did you want? Yahushua or Barabbas? What did they say? So nobody asked for justice. Nobody asked for it. Nobody asked for Sadat. Nobody wanted what was just. Nobody asked for Amat. And he told you, I am the way. Nobody asked for Amat. Listen. And speak lies. And speak lies. Wow, because they found some false witnesses. What does happen? They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. Listen. They hatch cockatrice eggs yeah. and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Listen. Their webs shall not become garments. He told them they were a generation of vipers. All y'all keep doing is having baby snakes. Listen. Neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Listen. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Yeah. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. He said they hurry up, they shed innocent blood. What happened? Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Yeah. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. What else happened? The way of shalom, they know not. And there is no judgment in their goings. So what happened? They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know shalom. Listen. Therefore is judgment far from us. Y'all hear that? That's why, we fought. That's why he put him up now. He told you what I can. He said he was going to send a judge that rip. So he put judgment far from you. Listen. Neither 
doth justice overtake us. Listen. We wait for Aura. And what happened? But behold, Kashak. See that? We were looking for light, but we wound up getting darkness. What happened? For brightness. And what happened? But we walk in darkness. Listen. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we had no eyes. Y'all see that? Pattern of behavior. You don't see pattern of behavior. Oh, what you got? Barashit. Barashit. Nineteen. Yeah, I'm getting nineteen eleven. That was a good gun. See, a nigga made it. Niggas. Niggas. Y'all niggas be killing me, man. Y'all kings be killing me. See, first they came in at you. That's how white people get you away from stuff. First they gave you their definition. Look up the word nigga. Disgusting, nasty, filthy. That's what he'll call you. That's what he'll call you. Because he wanted you to get away from it. Then he get you to march and put on the sign, don't call me nigga. He just lost the pronunciation of it. He took it away from you. He knew eventually you going to find it. You know, white people watch you and they listen to raps. Y'all keep saying nigga. You say white, white, white people, they watch you. White people watch you, y'all say nigga. They try to figure. They call themselves nigga. You know what they got to really think about? What made you catch back on to that? All the march and all the protests and all the sign, nigga, in Louisiana, they took a casket, wrote it on the paper, and buried it. Start singing and praying. That's why them niggas got washed out. That's exactly why they got being so done stupid. Some of the stupid people we got, Louisiana. Sitting out here, alligator bait. Nigga got rats this high off the ground. From them with these nasty crackers down here. Rats all them, they don't change the name. What they call them things? Neutral. Yeah, neutral. Noodles. Rat this big. Y'all, y'all never seen them? They ain't got rat. These bastards, you can put salads and rattle. You ain't gonna put no rat bar for that bastard down here. Eat your leg off. They knew, and they'll eat them. But see, just showing you again how they wordplay you. They wordplayed us so much that we've never even paid attention to them. They did. They get people. I, I just don't, I don't. Think about it. Psychic. Psychosis of that. You don't like it. Yeah, hey, nigga, you man, do me. Listen, man, call me brother. Don't, don't call me nigga. You know what I'm saying? That don't look good in front of these white people. We don't want to tear each other down. Because I already got a bad concept about the word based on the definition coming from our oppressor. So now I'm messed up. We just got to learn how to say niggas. Amazing about that. That's amazing. We jumped over that. We'll probably touch on that a little bit more. Probably touch on it a little bit more. Probably will. We probably will touch on it a little bit more. Because they really hadn't told us the truth. They really have not told you the truth. Don't worry about it right now. Come on, let's keep going. What's that, what did they say? Listen. And they They've been smoke. excited that these words ain't actually curse words. They don't lost their mind. Y'all still got control of these kids because they're getting their system with these white people. They don't act like they ain't heard it. They don't heard it because you got on your TV. You got to teach them, you don't repeat everything you say. You can't give these people every piece of information, knowledge you got. You just take away their power when you, under, when you understand, understand, and overstand. Stop letting these people program you to think and to believe something. Even with the word, certain words I don't use, I mean, like, the, I use shittum. It's in their book, which refers to a state. It was in the state we was in. I right, yeah, to believe it. I'll prove that out of y'all again, too, on another issue. But, but the thing becomes, just the word with Dr. Tim on it, it just means diarrhea. That's all it means, diarrhea. It doesn't mean what they told you. It's just 
they play semantics. They play word game when they get you or when they get you fear in front. And they use it with you all the time, though. That's the problem with it. It's amazing because white folks use it all the time. You say, oh, well, you know, that's them. They, they do that. And then they still say it. Then somebody asks you clearly. So they go in hell. I can't say it. Only God can say it. Make up your mind. If it's wrong, then they can do it. They, they taught you it was wrong. How do they use it? And they still write. They still say it. That shows you the dominance of how the oppressor has made a fool out of us. They manipulate us so bad and so long to we ain't even got a conscience to even think. And then people think, hey, why are you making about white people? Because you just got to actually look at just, you, you just really don't know how much damage these people have done to you. You really just don't know. It's just like when you find out some hacker going in, you think, they say, well, somebody got your personal information. You're thinking, okay, I mean, ooh, it's bad, but how bad until you wind up find out this bastard got homes and cars and you got some warrants in your name. You feel you saying, damn, what happened? Condemn. Yeah. What happened? I mean, how did it work when some people knocking your door ain't finna get you now? Now you realize this is pretty bad. And you don't realize that what happened to you. These people came, used your name, got all your personal information from your book. That's how you got snatched up. All right. We'll just keep talking. We'll, we'll work around with some of this stuff. It'll, it's, it's, it'll, it'll work out. It'll play itself out. This is the 19th chapter about a sheep. I want what I said, 1911. Listen. And they smote the anus that were at the door of the house with so blindness. So let me bag me up at verse 7. Nineteen and seven. Listen. And said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold, now I have two daughters which have known not a noose, which have not known a noose. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as is Taub in your eyes. What happened? Only unto these anus do nothing. Listen. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. For what happened? And they said, stand back. I'm tell them what happened. And they said again, this one fellow came in to sojourn. Y'all hear that one fellow came to sojourn. He came to stay. Tell them, look what they told you about him. And he will need to be a judge. Y'all know what they said? They're going to look like a shopper. That's what they realized about Yahushua. That's why they wanted him. Because they looked at a man standing here, and they could look at him and clearly tell. This man was judging these people's behavior. Now you looking at stuff, you doing something, you watch somebody watch, you be like, why oh, that nigga look at me crazy? Like they watch me, he's just looking. And they can realize something. Stand back. This joker looking at us like he's some kind of judge. And that's what he tried to tell you in the fifth chapter of the book of Yuk uh, Ukanon. He told you that the Alba judge is no man. So he committed it all to me. See, even when those people sat there and they watched when the two mile key came, they had enough sense to watch one of them realize something. This joker looking like he's judging us. This is what happened. Now will we deal worse with thee than with them. Listen. And they pressed sore upon the Anus. And what happened? Even loot, and came near to break the door. But the Anus put forth their hand, and pulled loot into the house to them, and, what and happened? shut the door. And what happened? And they smote the Anus that were at the door with, of the Struck house. them, Joe. That's what I'm talking about. You know, it's amazing. I remember my parents say, I don't know if y'all had to hold their tears, and they got to slap your eyes out your head. Where y'all think we get it from? I don't feel tell They said, don't play. I'll slap your eyes out your head. You be thinking, you know, you thinking, my eyes, okay. <laughs> I'm going to stop. You thinking, all you, know, you thinking, your eyes, poof, go spread out just like this. This is our conversation. We wonder where we get this stuff from. Listen, that's amazing because them folks will say, you know, here, don't know, I'll beat that. Balaam did the same thing. You're going to make me mess around and beat you? I was at Ronald the kid looking for a reason to do something. I don't know how some of y'all can't control your kids anyway. I don't know what's wrong. They'll still learn them discipline where they go. They're going to see white folk do stuff, too. You got to teach them everything. See, white folk do. You can't do what white folk do. Yeah, yeah, they lie. You're going to see a whole lot of stuff people do. You can't do what everybody else do. That being honest, that people, we can't, this is something we got to get our minds out. We can't, the thing we try to shelter our kids from the damnation, um, being raped, molested, all these other things. But for a lot of these curses out here in this, in this work, they're going to have to see it so I got identified. Being honest, they ain't going to know what. That's why a lot of them get captured and get kicked. They don't know the danger. They really don't know that there are a lot of people that you're going to use things you're going to hear that's going to use it. It's going to be to your fault, not for It's going to be for your detriment. It's going to be for your hurt. So we try to let them identify so they know when they see, they have a concept and a, a grasp of what's going on and learn what to stay away from. You know what's amazing? Even when little animals are born, pups, 
hidden, whatever it is. The mother going to have them. And she knows she has to teach them about certain things to watch out and to look for and where to go for safety. They got, they see something, they run straight back that hole because they've been taught. She's training the whole, she goes, I don't want to tell about nothing bad because I don't want y'all to think about nothing bad. I don't want to, you're going to want to get yourself killed out here. Because you can't identify. That's how a lot of us, I was one molested before at a young age. That's how it happened because you don't know, you weren't told, and then you know how to identify danger. When you found out about it, you were victim. Now that you learn being a victim from it, you become why you said, I see this coming a mile away. Got your spot, you finna shut your jump down. Y'all got it? It's just being honest. You can't shelter them from everything going on out here. They got it in books. In your school, they're gonna shut them two men, two Peterson. Look here. This is normal. This is not gay. Elementary books, they teach the kids how to masturbate. So this is normal. Don't fight it. These are books that they have for school for educating kids. And they worry about what I'm saying. You better worry about what these people are doing to your kids. You know, kids gonna do what they say. I'm showing a book with two kids with their penis right here, little boy. And what you think they're gonna do? This is normal. Don't fight it. They give them these, these um, co ed bathrooms. And what you think gonna happen? You gonna get some woman raped. What you think gonna happen? Nature does not allow us to be in those same bathrooms together. Something gonna happen if you're straight. around make a sissy straighten up. Yeah. You got the right one to use it now. Right. <laughs> Since I, I've been born again. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. I'm new now. I'm new. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah, right. Man, Ryan, got the right Negro in there using that bathroom. He used to stand up at that thing. Shoot, boy, man, that done um, bull dagger man around and floss her teeth. <laughs> She's like, I got to get serious now. <laughs> Isn't that right? Called Stanley Steam and said, I quit. I ain't cleaning no more carpet. <laughs> the day is my last. The 999,822 more of them. I had like a million of them. They came back and called, hey, Yeah, yeah, yeah. This boy, like, yeah, I ain't never coming back. <laughs> God, I ain't never coming back. You can't play like that. No. Isn't that right? Just getting hot over there. trying to fan himself. Cool. That's all right. <laughs> Y'all know how X-rated for you come in. I keep it real, though. You can't put people in no kind of position. Isn't that right? Come on, let's finish up over so we can get back to the 59th chapter of the book of Yeshua. Listen. And they smote the unused that were at the door of the house with blindness. And what happened? Both small and great. Both small and great. So that they wearied themselves to find the door. What happened? And the unused said unto Lut, Hast thou here any besides? So the thing I wanted to get to when he went there, when he told me he smoked them with blind and that they wearied themselves trying to find the door. What you think happened when Yahushua was on the tube? It was so dark. They weird and he smote them with blindness. They couldn't see. He told you for those of you that desire the day of Yahuwah. He said, and to what end is it to you? Should not it be very dark and no light in it? He kept telling you that it was going to be as though a man you weren't going to be able to find. It. And he told you that verily, verily, which was a mot, a mot. He said, I'm the door. They weird themselves trying to get him. Come on back to that 59th chapter. You get, no, don't get me yesterday, Yahoo, the 58th chapter. Listen. Verse 10. Listen. We grope for the wall like the blind. Y'all see what they do? They grope for the, they grope for the who? Wall. And like the who? Blind. Just like the blind. See that? What else happened? And we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noon, yum, as in the night. And what were we told by noon? He told us in the eighth chapter of the book of Moose, he said, I'm going to darken it in a clear day while it was sunny. So he let you know when they started to come that they became blind. At noon, when they put them up on the two, when they hit noon, they were blind. He told you that Kashat went over all the land. He put it, it was completely dark. These people didn't see nothing. They couldn't find the door. The same thing that we saw the parallel that happened in Barashit. He was already telling them Barashit for us means the beginning. What did he do? What does he do for us at the beginning? He declared the end at the beginning. When you go back to read what they want to call Sodom and Gomorrah's storm, you go back to look at this in what they call Genesis, which is probably a decent call. But when you go back and look at Barashit, the beginning, he already told you what was going to happen at the end. And these people going to weary themselves and he was going to put them in darkness, in Kashaw. And they were going to be trying to find the door. They weren't going to be able to get it. On top of that, he should have told you the conclusion of the whole matter. He was going to burn this place up. 
He was declaring the end at the beginning. But before he burned it up, he told you what he was going to do. I'm going to have to get you out first. That's the same thing he did with us. I'm going to gather my wheat into my barn. I'm going to burn the rest of this stuff up. Okay. The thing you'll find with what they call Sodom and Gomorrah, you're going to find with them is that these people were fornicators and they was adulterers. And these people were homosexual. The same thing he's going to do to these people when he come back. He's going to destroy their play. These people are wicked. He's going to destroy these wicked people. I don't know why the people don't see it. I told you this in the beginning. At by the sheet, I done already declared you what's going to happen. I done struck these people with blind. They don't even know they're blind. You know why people say they don't want to come here? You ain't going to believe that. Your pastor, like, he be judging people. <laughs> that's the same thing they said about him. When he said the Malachi there, that's what they realized. they like, the guy keep looking like he'll judge. When you come in like he's so judgmental. Think what they were doing, they were two jokes, walking around, like, boom, got each other butt cheek. Hmm. Woman walk around like she got plush carpet in her mouth. They're like, he's looking at her like a judge. <laughs> hey, what's it like? How that lady ate up all that shit carpet? Then one of his, hey, it ain't even been invented yet. Oh. <laughs> but did that? I just like, oh, yo, I made fun of these folks. Because I, we got to get disciplined enough to break away from it. Now, what we come along and do, the problem is now with us is the fact that we sit here now and we're afraid to sit here and look at these people in a different form. That's why these people are comfortable. That's amazing at the First Corinthians 6 and 1. That's amazing how we act and people don't want to, you know, I don't want to seem judgmental. First Corinthians 6 and 1. That's amazing. Let's see what he told us. This is First Corinthians now, 6 and 1. Listen. Dare any of you having a matter against another to do what? Go to law before those not sadat. See that? Those that are not just. He said, why are you going to go to somebody not just and ask them about something? I dare, he said, I'm daring any one of y'all to go and go to the law. And then, in the fact that they ain't even just. And what happened? And not before the consecrated. See that? You're supposed to come before the consecrated, not the saints. You don't know the saints. They saints always something. You see that little dagger sign? I don't know where they got that junk from. They just give us something, always making a fool out of us. Let people been consecrated, set aside. Listen. Do you not know that the consecrated shall judge the aritz? And if the aritz shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? So explain to me why I'm wrong when I tell y'all before we need to establish our own legal system. Who gonna be a better who's gonna be a better team than us? A shafatim or judges or vindicators. We can judge a matter. See, we keep thinking white people always got a judge, and they got to persecutors, prosecutors, victimizers, arresters, then judges, and then sentences. And then we come back to the crowd and lay up on their nuts. Oh, mighty monuments of nuts, please. I won't deny, please. Somebody go sit and wait on some Abraham Lincoln piss to get on them. People don't realize that stuff was transgression. Do you not know that was sin? You going up to a monument. You going to a sta a monument. Wood and stone, which cannot move, must need be carried. And you ask these crackers to do something. Do you know this is an insult to all our humans? Why every time niggas Farrah come, all these people are agents? How you always got to sit up here between this man nuts? That's amazing. Then they put the kid right there Santa Claus nuts. From cracker to cracker. Look at black people. They ain't got a liquor sense. How you wind up with your kids on some cracker knee? Your kids do the same thing you do to Allah him. You love a cracker better than you love a nigga. They ain't no... But, huh, do it again. You're getting that for Christmas. He ain't finna mess up. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pop that beat the nigga down. Boom, boom, you be, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is come. Claus is a contract to town. He come and see who's gonna keep the contract. 
It's amazing. Your driver license, your birth certificate, all contract. Car can give you contract. Everything he locked you into is a contract. Huh? Satan is coming with his contract. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you awake. Surveillance. He knows when you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. Nigga can't even complain. Nigga can't say man. This Christmas. What you taught your kid? You can't you better not. I'm telling you why. Satan coming with his contract. And you got to go get your kids some toys so you can go fulfill that contract. That's what you did. When you offer a sacrifice, it's a gift. Wow, it's amazing because you start passing them out this month. You give them out and pull names for them. Doing your same sin and rituals. They have no biblical principle whatsoever. First of all, nothing you're doing makes sense. When the man was born in the summer, why would you be sitting out here when they hit money? Oh, 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 oh. Let me pull. Let me see before you give Jesus one. Let me pull my name. They ain't pulling no. Where y'all getting that foolishness from? None of these niggas ain't gonna bring you what they brought him. They brought this man gold. Niggas going to the dollar store. You ain't even on point with your foolishness. Throw that man frankincense and myrrh. Precious ointments. You nigga don't went here and bought some junk from Avon. <laughs> None of your stuff even equivalent. You are a retard. They only look at Perrine when you're supposed to get what we get with gifts to the poor. That's why they come along. See, crackers know. That's why they give you Salvation Army. That's when you give stuff so they can give it to who? The poor, because they always mimicking everything you got. In our 12th moon, we have Perrine. In which we supposed to give gifts to the poor. I'm not poor no name. That's foolishness. You ain't sitting around here and sitting on what you doing sitting on somebody's leg for your grown rest behind some wife, some nigga sitting on Santa lap. The devil. The nigga gay. It's quick go usher your kid right. That's why they're so quick to run up there to Washington, D.C. and sit in their lap. Go to the White House. That's what the nigga slave did when they wanted the pro. They needed something. Go up to the White House. Master, come on the porch. Pants on the What's wrong with y'all negros? Your negros won't. Master, we just come up here and stuff. We good. We go on back in and pick more cars. Come on, niggas. <laughs> Always sitting out there the way he left you. Sitting down at the bottom of the step. When you go to the nigga got you outside the gate. When we going to ever get everybody get you on this movement to go up here and stand out here and get pissed on, you need to watch them. Piss on them. I'll get R. Kelly $20 piss on. Yeah. I don't want no bird I want R. Kelly piss on. Yeah. Right. Isn't that right? I'd pay for a crane to lift him up and just piss all over him. <laughs> Your body is like a porta potty. I'll pay him $20. <laughs> I'll fly in the storm out and piss on all of them on the side of that mouth. <laughs> Isn't that right? Oh, we traveling nigga mind to go somewhere and travel and ask white, but why they have no crackers for nothing? Tell them what you gonna do. That's sad, man. It's sad. Nobody you go to and ask just with you. Nobody. Then I'm gonna come, I'm gonna tell your friend, well, you know, let's just let the system work. This is another foolish thing. You can't let nothing work. Everything working been grinding your behind up. Wheels of justice run you over, nigga. Man, I thought I need some more wheels on my doing back. Gotta establish your own justice according to Allahim's word. Everyone in the other nation, nobody, when you think China went on America to vindicate them or tell them what they can do, they doing what they want to do. They say, it's called China Sea, I'm gonna put my dirt, it's mine. I'm trying to China Sea, then I'm gonna put my done dirt out here. I don't blame for taking it done. Without that little done YouTube boat, boat, little junk hair, I don't want to snatch up and keep it. Don't give them nothing. Isn't that right? Crazy, what you doing with it over there? Let somebody go send something in the water over here and see if you just give it back to them. Why ain't always them? Oh, try, try they did that wrong, you should have been over there. Yeah. I remember one time some fella had some speakers and throw it over our gate at my house. 
And me and my friend, we, we didn't know about it. We t- went out there and got them speaking, tore it over, and got the, got the, um, got the magnet, got that thing. We were playing. Them Joe was looking for that bag. They come on there. They nodded my dad. They were like, man, it was hot. They was some tears. were hot. We were little kids, elementary. They nodded my dad. Tell my dad. They was like, I was like, yeah, your own son had got our speaker. He said, what? I said, oh, good. They just killed my mom. He said, where was that? We walked out there. He showed them where they said, see, we had it. It was over. He said, where it was? He said, they said, well, right there on your yard. I said, I don't give a damn about that. <laughs> he said, it was in my yard. He said, I don't give a damn about that. He said, I don't give a damn. Went on back in the house. Told me, keep playing. <laughs> I was like, y'all heard him regret it. <laughs> he told him flat. He ain't count like, boy, that joke. The only time that, that joke came through like wind for me then, boy. <laughs> I was just saying, I was just waiting just get knocked over that gate. What you doing over here? He said it was in his yard. He says, wait, what? They said, what? Right there, we had to throw the gate. He said, my yard? It's don't give a damn about that. <laughs> he went back and out. Keep playing. He won't worry about that. Well, my chair was poked out high that day. That was, well, it was a great day. Great day in these Americans. Isn't that right? They, I'm like, so hearing great with Justin what he did. Yeah. So China took it. it sh- you shouldn't have been over there. Isn't that right? What you going to tell me they trying to test no temperature? They lying. Smiling like they always been smiling. Yeah. Trust them bastards with nothing. Now I'm telling y'all, this book telling you that we're going to judge their risk. Now how we can't judge none of these other matters? If somebody do something wrong, we can judge. I ain't going to take no done and nobody sit here and kill and poison and sit here and molest and rape our women and let them go. I said kill them. Yeah. When we got the evidence, we know you don't rape somebody. You want this? I ain't going to do it no more. I'm telling you. I believe you. I believe you, because you're done. You're done. I, I wouldn't keep, I wouldn't hire one of them. I'd be just like that guy. I'd go hire that guy from the Philippines. I like him. He said he wasn't going to cuss no more. He broke out and did it again. I said, I don't blame him. He ain't cursing. He said, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to cuss it again. He said, damn Obama. He said, let it win. I said, I ain't, I ain't mad at it. But I know they make you mad. That joke said, I killed three people. But they country, you know, Philippines, okay, they said, they said, good, this is first of all. He don't know what he said. He ain't killed no three people. He said, y'all did. I killed three of them. He said, they raped the lady. He said, I killed all three of them. I shot my gun. He said, I don't know how many bullets I put in them. He said, but I put a lot of bullets in them. He said, I cannot lie. <laughs> that guy said, he said, yes, I did. He said, I was the mayor. I killed him. I said, boy, I like that joker, boy. <laughs> how you going to get mad at him? They raped the woman. He found they would get three men. Why you going to keep them? Why you have to see? They keep them because they rape them. Yeah. Their father was rapers and murderers. They tell us that drugs are killing our neighborhood, killing our people. Why are you housing them? Because you're a drug dealer. You kill them, you know what's going to happen. They're going to lose money. You know what the Philippines got going on right now? How about all the drug dealers turning themselves in? Listen, load. Them niggas sitting in jail, all of them loaded out. Listen, he catch them, he's going to kill them. He said, as long as I'm president, I'm going to kill them. As long as I'm president, or till I kill the last one of them. He said, to my term, I kill the last one of them. Them bastards, listen, they coming in drove turning themselves in. <laughs> The U.S. done took away funding. Think about why. You tell, what did they tell us on the news? How many videos and how many specials we got? DIA, DEA, FBI done had to bust drug dealer, violent drug dealer, all the drugs been put in neighborhood, been taken, mother crack. How many crack baby we hear about? So why is a problem all of a sudden to kill them? Because you need somebody to sell your product. I want them to keep, the only reason I want them on the, on the books to kill them is not because I want them dead. I want enough fear and I people to stop being this man poison control for him. You need to see that white cracker sell it so you know who your enemy is. Right. Let them stand in your neighborhood on your corner and sell it. Right. These best around them Mercedes, BMWs, and all these other cars and flying jets, and they're the real drug dealers. Yeah. They use another to sit here and be the done passive. Yeah. Go lock, show me something, nigga. I had these little fake kilos and junk you got. Where you finna keep 300 kilos at? Yeah. You, exactly where you storing all these kilos? The world record bust. Where's all this dope being kept at? No good and doing well. They ain't getting turned in back on the street. They video show you anything. You think I'm saying I'm making sixty thousand dollars a year, and I just made a t- hundred million dollar bust? I get how much you got? I said, man, nigga had twenty dollars. <laughs> Listen, be banged up too. Not coming out. This some one of my family had left me, and also I quit today. <laughs> Today I'm turning my resume. I guess I ain't, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm retired. These folks ain't got nothing. I quit. Shoot. Gold draws everything. Gone. Can't even walk out fast enough. 
Look, who you think actually turning this stuff in? These people make it sixty and seventy thousand dollars a year. And all you're doing is watching drugs and money and cars and gold and guns. You actually think that stuff getting turned in? Who's keeping it? I, turn it and let me keep it. None of this stuff can be found. So, man, as soon as y'all look, they robbed me. I have a nigga tie me up, man, be laying on the ground. They robbed me soon. I'd be like Fred Sam he broke the mind parsley. Sit on the ground. Whew, we were raw. I ain't got nothing when y'all come back here. Let these folks quit making a fool out of you. Our black people want to use their consciousness and get really alert and pay attention, but we'll stop being a fool for this man. Then you know when he'll stop you, go sell it to his white kid. Take these same niggas, let them go stand on Beverly Hill corner and sell it to his white kid. White people smoke crack more than you'll ever smoke. Snip pills and everything else you got, but they ain't not gonna let you see their kid. They ain't gonna put that on television. These crackers don't, they the ones start out smoking this, snorting this dope and junk. So all the niggas knew how to do was pull some little marijuana. Cracker done took this stuff to the tent problem. Got, him, got you looking like a done fool. They had to float money back into their school system. Why do you think somebody's giving private money to them schools? Their schools will be more desecrated than your schools are. You just ain't got no sense to put money back in your school or put the right people to educate your kids. Why do people give your educator? Why do people give your superintendent? Cracker pick their own. Nobody getting a cracker nothing. Why you think Donald Trump done put that white big in that woman in there? Because she's going to establish school for white. Your kid ain't going to see no charter school. Only charter your child going to see is a doing boat back over the other side of Africa. They establish stuff for white kids. They know their education system failing. They got to empower their people to keep trying to teach. You got to teach white kids they better than you. There ain't no giving. There's stuff you don't know. There's stuff they don't know. You just don't know, do you? I just scratch all that for now. By the sheets. By the sheet. Ten and one. By the sheet. <clears throat> it's still right. But we'll just scrap it for now. Listen. Now these are the generations of the Ben of Nuak, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Y'all hear his sons? Which will be Shem. We know he ain't got no Shem. Shem, S H A M. Most of the time, they're going to go, that's how they manipulate us in their spelling, by putting an E or an I. Anything they can do to come and make a fool out of us. These people know a lot more than what you think they know. Listen. <clears throat> and unto them were Ben born after the flood. Unto them were born sons after the flood. Listen. The Ben of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Medai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tirez. The reason why y'all need to know about those boys right now, you should know about them. All these guys right here have an allegiance together. They all have an allegiance together. You know why? They're brothers. China, Russia, all these people, these European people, they have all these people fall up on the JFAT. You need to know this about them. See, it's stuff that y'all don't know that's going to happen, that's happening right now. See, China ain't just out there building that island you seen out there, box they keep showing y'all. It's probably something else you need to know. You know. China has built an all-weather road all the way over to Afghanistan. But this not in your news, huh? China has built a road all the way over to Afghanistan. It's an all-weather road. They can get there any time in any condition. That's why they have a problem with China. Not that island you're worried about. 
See, that's just practice. They've learned how to dig up. While all these soils and all been playing around with this soil and digging up, doing your own island, and all these crops have been digging islands, China been watching you. China has built a all-weather road all the way to Afghanistan. But you don't even know this. You just need to know about the island out there in the water. He didn't know about these nations that he's telling you about because it's going to involve the Persians too. All these people are in together. But they're not going to tell us about that. Listen. And the Ben of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Rephath. That's and what he called himself, an Ashkenazi Jew, or better known as an Oscar Mayer wiener. Now you see the ambassador there, better referred to as Bologna. Isn't that right? Oscar Mayer Wieners. All these people together. Listen. And Togarma, and the Ben of Javan, Elishai, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands. See that? The islands. Listen. Or Every coastlands, rather. Listen. Every one after his tongue, mm -hmm. after their families, mm -hmm. in their nations. Mm -hmm. And the Ben of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Foot, and Canaan. All together. Cush would be the proper name spelled K U S H. It'll be spelled K U S H. The reason why you need to know this. Well, it, it ain't, it's what you're going to get today. That's what I'm putting, Oscar Nasca. That's beautiful. I don't know where he came up with that from. Alaska? Probably looked like. That's how you would spell Africa. It's important you need to know this. Because this name was given to you by Mizraim, who they were called the Egyptians. This is why you need to know this. And the reason why you need to know that is because somebody took a name Africa. Is that how you spell it? What? Else? C A oh well okay. It's all about it. That's why they can't see. They ain't got but one eye. You need two. See, I tried to help them out, didn't I? The reason why you need to know these things is because that terminology Africa actually comes from Roman. This was the name of a Roman general. That's why you need to know it. Remember I told you about the discipline of the K was before their domination versus the C? Because they're from the Caucasus Mountain. Everybody stole from us. Now, what you do want to know about this land that is actually called Kush, not Africa. That's what you really want to know about it. It's actually called Kush, not Africa. Your Greeks gave you another name. Let's see if I remember. Yeah. I'm 
Somebody forgot a letter. Should be like Athapa. I know what that means. Bronze people. This name, this is an ancient Greek name they had for you. The Greeks gave you an ancient name. Cush means that you're dark people. They also did another play on words they gave y'all too. They called it Ethiopia. We have a lore. In a upper. Ethiopia is what you're going to find on their map. But it's actually Cush. That Black Sea, that's why they called it Black, because it was actually Cush. That's how much playing he does with us. So when you say Africa and the Africans there, they ain't got no sense. They don't know no better themselves. They think they're African. Because he's done so much playing with words. You have the upper and the lower part of Kush, which they're going to call Ethiopia. Everybody knows who you are. Your other part that comes over to you, India, everybody played games with you. Because this is where your white people came and invaded you from. They invaded you from India. This is how they invaded you. They made a fool out of us the whole time we've been here. That's how they invaded you. They took you down and came through India in about 1700 B.C. Second millennium, these people took you down. Not only they just took you down, they also took your script. It's been a lot of playing. So when we say Africa and we tell any people Africa, white people look and say, yeah, Africa. You don't believe what they call themselves. Afrikaners. You know why they call themselves Afrikaners? Because they're referring back to the general that came and dominated you and took it. You know, white people tell you what they call it. They call it Afrikaners. And you wonder why they call themselves Afrikaners. Because they're giving homage to their domination when they took you. And they're going right back to their Roman general. Give you geology book. I got people that teach geometry or geology or what well, is not geometry, but geography, all these different things. These people playing with us. Whole time they've been playing with us. Teach you about Africa because it's all domination. The Africans are saying, I'm sorry, help me out. Do not Africans, refer, the people that refer themselves as Africans, or they refer themselves as Kush. <laughs> he said, it's been a while since he's been back. But, but you can see where when they came and dominated us and took us over and took our scripts from us, which is our scripture, we don't know. So now when you sit back and you recite and you say stuff, they look at you. You start talking about Africa for the Africans. White people just looking at you. So you're saying Roman general rule over you. They got a man now. That's one of the rulers in Nigeria. You ain't going to believe what his name is. King Africa. What you think them crackers think when they hear him say that? That he named himself after a Roman dictator. This is how bad they are. Kush. And I had to apologize because I told y'all Ethiopia why we be here. Now it makes sense why he told them about Ethiopia. This man was born there. Because they will cover this whole region. Because guess what? They were all black. That's why it's called the Black Sea, and nobody paid attention. The people are black. Going across the country, you ain't gonna believe what they named it. The Negro Land. They said that everybody when they came there, why they even went along with it, because they said everybody was copper skinned. You were copper skinned. Then they tell you about these beautiful people. Who is that? You don't believe what it means. Black. The Moors are black. 
That's what their name means. That's why you look in a law dictionary, they'll tell you about colorable, something not real. Black. So they keep playing games and they keep changing things. They keep moving us around, making a fool out of us the whole time. So they know we've been saying Africa the whole time. See, this one you got to look at these educators, these white educators. And these black educators got to start thinking, all you know is what the cracker done gave you. The cracker gives you your syllabus to go in and brainwash other people. They, they are no different than Rick Ross. Rick Ross, he can say out there, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? They tell me, you know, I was helping out with the Contras and all. You ignorant nigga. You sold $3 million worth of drugs a week to fund a war they made billions of dollars out, and you lost everything you went to prison. You lost your family. People died in your family. You lost and You were stripped. You were emasculated. And you sit here now, and you're so stupid and ignorant, realize they have always used us. They funded, placed, protected him to do their damage, just like they do in these school systems. We need our own education system. You can't educate them. These kids got... You know how much it costs for these textbooks? Lose one. Lose one, you'll find how much it costs. The fact, do you know why it's so precious? Because I don't need this lie to get missing. You know, you know how much time it takes to look at this and see Kush, Black Sea. No, this is Africa. No, we're going to take this from this. They're taking all this from us. They stripped us. They stripped us. They came and did, they changed the Amat into a lie. See, that's why he came down to Yahusha statement. When I went to Malcolm, y'all tell you, these people are always going to report stuff. He said, I ain't say no such a thing. These people have been playing with us the whole time we've been here. The whole time you've been here, they've been playing with you. These sons he got, we just finna read. Come on, baby, what you got on him. I ain't gonna hold y'all much longer. I'm just, it, just, it just hurts you to just sit back and look and realize these bastards are really dangerous. White people are a lot more dangerous than what you get them credit for. And you keep thinking, and a lot of these people, this is the part, it ain't all, a lot of them know. They know. If they told you they are African, ask them why. And I've always, why do they say they're African? I said, because they know they can't be an African. They say, you dumb nigga. The reason why they refer to themselves as African is because they're referring back to the Roman general Africa. These people have stolen. They have their own lane. That's why they call themselves Aryans. You need to watch them. This is why they refer to themselves as Aryans. Because their language is considered to be Indo-European. Indo-European, you know about their language. That's their language. Everything you'll find these people took, these areas, guess where they stole it from? Mizraim. Greek, Latin, all took everybody a dot from Mizraim. That's why they have to your script. I told y'all, I, like, I don't care about Mizraim. I don't care nothing about America, European, and I don't care nothing about them. I don't care. Anybody that enslaved us, the tag is, I care nothing about them. If I hear my trader going to cry there, I lose no sleep. I lose absolutely. Anybody that oppressed us, anybody that had, our story told that we went down and these people evilly and treated us. How am I seeing how I'm in love with my captive? It's like those kids they found in Ohio, kidnapped, kept took his kids and stayed here and had kids by and they cried for their captive. People say, how do they do that? I don't know. You tell me, nigga. Everybody black should be able to sympathize with them crackers. Because that's what happened to you. Get you and make you feel like, I feel like I belong. I don't think they really meant to hurt me. Then you start acting like that boy, George. Do you really mean to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Man, just flung in your face. Anybody hurt you meant to hurt you. Why would you ask this stupid question? Why would you ask them this? You've been played with so much, you don't even know who you are. I came out on when I thought I about it. I appreciate our kid because he enlightened me to some stuff. He sent me a map and 
just a quick look overview of some other stuff I had to take right quick. Just give you a lot more. Just look at these people saying, these people are really dangerous. Learn how these people just come in and capture you and how they did the damage to you. And it's easy to see how they did it. So when they came down, they realized they couldn't get you and how they actually divided up the land. Y'all know how they got it from us and how they got us. They tore down the dam. They flooded the terrain. See, I told you guys this before. This land connect. They know it connected. So the only way to get us was to tear down the dam. They flooded the lands out. You know what water do? It'll build a trench. I'm sorry, a river. And that'll keep you from crossing over. That's how they got you. Along as well as they came in and they used murder. They slaughtered us. The people came in through it. That's how they got us. All this stuff covered over now. It's just, it just so much damage being done to us. Everybody named you but you. Amazing they got you back over here and they called you Negro. Same word they had across the mouth. It was called, the, it was actually named the Negro Land. Everybody got a name for you but you. White people talk right around your head and you don't even know it. Put on your thought, are you Negro, African American? Giving back to your domination of the whites. They want you to say, what do you, what do you go by? Negro, African American? What is it? Which one of y'all you? Other? All that show their domination. But they know why they Africanans, because they're Caucasians, Aryans. That have came down and conquered you and stole your script. Now you can't sit here and be friends with these people. You can't keep sitting here and keep trying. These people got your money in their banks. These people got your kids in their school. These people got your medical record. And these people give you medicine. I hope nothing don't happen. God forbid. God in favor. Allah him is the only one that's for our, for, been for our edification, been for our good. See, you, that's what you got to ask yourself now. This is what you got to ask myself. How many people knew this ain't told us? That's how I look at stuff now, Miko. Yeah, I've been knowing that man for years. I've known that. Find somebody been banging my wife and y'all been knowing about it. Right. Then I'm going to blame some of the people in this room. I can't look at some of the people in the room you try to explain to me how you didn't want to cause no problem. You just stayed out of it. As far as I'm concerned, you in it. Because you helped a lot to be facilitated. See, that's how you got to start looking. You got to stop looking at everybody as innocent and people just, it's just people don't want to get involved. You got to get involved. Hmm? You know, they can charge you in some case. You see somebody laying, I heard you could run to help. You say, well, it wasn't mine. They said, but you know what? It was you're more of a problem now because you didn't do anything to help them. How can you do that in a natural case of somebody around? I could have been late going to work. I don't know them. I could be anything could be wrong with me that why I didn't help. I really didn't pay attention to think it was that serious. But I could be charged. And the fact that I didn't assist aid. He crowd to sit here. Know what they've done to us, inflicted us, and they've assisted no aid. No aid. How are we not charging these people? How are these people not being charged with the most heinous crime on the planet? Then I'm being looked at as this anti-white. No, I'm anti-wrong. Right. If this nigga sitting on the gate that did nothing, I'm against you. No right. right. color don't get you no bearings with me. Right. If you've been a part of hindrance, or you've been high in this stuff that been the high detriment of fall, then I blame you. Then he have us to finish off by saying, Amen. Because the Greek and the, the Greeks and the Latins all follow. I followed the Mizraim. Because Amen was their God. Never thought of that. Come to church for Amen. Black priest, Amen. Let the congregation say, amen. Right, so you see how we never left Mizraim? Even this region of what they call America, it still come over to Kush. 
Because the amount they give you of fifteen ninety something makes no sense because they had him had flight. How did you get an aerial view of the planet in fifteen hundred and ninety something? Right. Niggas ain't even thinking. Right. Teacher, teach world geography ain't even thinking. History teacher. Now when are you teaching that flight took place? Get out of my class. Get out right now. You're not gonna withstand me in my class. I don't even know when you teaching flight took place. Because I'm going to have a problem with a 1590-some McLemare map, whatever that John, I forgot the name of that map in 1598. But anyway, how did you come up with flight that you saw the whole area view of the planet? And you drew it out of me. I can't even draw Africa. I don't remember in my mind. And you did it in a plane. How fast was you going? Was you hovering? What's you going to hover around? How many times did you fly before you got it right? Cracker went on one time. I seen it. This is how dangerous these people are. This is how dangerous these people are. The mere fact they've taken everything from. So you can hear them, you hear the other group, even coming back to the king. But see, when we came back here, we were still right here. This is where you were told not to go back to Egypt. Mizraim. You were told not to go back here. But you know, I'm going to use the K instead of the C. And you still right there. You got to marinate on that. Now you got to watch your teachers, your professors. And you really can't blame them because you got to look at this. You only went as far as they gave you. You didn't think they asked any more questions. You know they'll give you a book called Exhausted. You know they, why they put Exhausted on them? Exhausted, if I tell you I'm exhausted, what do they mean? I give you a book and it says Exhausted. What do you think they mean? You cannot go any further than what I just gave you. A cracker put that on them. You believe I'm exhausted right now? I'm exhausted, Valerie. What's giving me away? So he lied when he told us it was exhausted. Because we're still going further, we find more information. See how he word and play word games with you? He fools you to look at since he's done the research. And please don't just limit yourself to his computer. Because he put in there what he wants you to know. That's why he kid you. Yeah. All your research and get back, send you right back to me. You said, who is so time exhausted? Exactly. Because I said it where I keep you going, keep you going, keep you going, keep you some people. They put some foods in there. You said, well, oh, there's some food. Let me just forget it. Just go with what I know. What you know why you're in the hell hole you're in. It needs for us to go further. It needs for us to deal with these type of issues and situations and accusations. Because it's a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. Because you led us to believe, now you find the Kush kids to take on the name Ethiopia. And watch these people take over like native land. You just watch so many different behavior. These people come in and still, and they just change the name. And you never know. It all referred to a black land. All these people were black. They were all black. Listen to something. Listen. When you finish up, y'all all right. They're boring, y'all, ain't it? This ain't stuff. You know what we need to do. Won't Jesus work it out? Work it out. Won't he pay your bill? Work, nigga, bill behind. How you say yeah. you lying? Yeah. Nigga, sit here in a hell hole. Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Nigga done got all worked up, made a fool out of this. How many times we lied for him? We were sick. Somebody prayed and said, you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling better. Didn't want white Jesus to be let down. I lied for him. I remember one time my pal posing all on my ear. Yeah, I could. I said, man, that thing better. <laughs> that thing, I was like, that thing better. I had to leave for now. Probably about an hour later, I had to go to the hospital. My done ear closed completely up. They had to stick a wick in my ear and get some oil in now. But you know what I looked at? I didn't blame Jesus. I say, you know what? Jesus healed it. He closed it up. But ain't he good? I should say, you bastard. <laughs> I got a white people that say they knew. When I use Jesus, I use Jesus out of the most honest sincere. I never use it saying, well, I know it ain't the name. I know it ain't right. But I, ain't, I never had that. That, that, that psychosis don't make it with me. If I know it ain't right, why am I using it? 
That don't make sense. Well, so I, I knew this been wrong. I've been known a long time, but so why are we doing it? You got to watch these people. Why are you so comfortable doing something wrong? But I know what's right. It's dangerous. These people are dangerous. Now, when I fought for Jesus, I fought for that bastard. I asked all comers to come, all challenges. And I find he ain't wrong, I run that bastard down. Every time I get a chance. I had a joke I had to talk to the other day about something. He had said somebody in my thing. I had to call him. We had a talk. Two things I let him know to show him I was serious. A, I'm not a Christian. B, I don't give a damn about Jesus. I said, so I will not pray for you. We're on the same page now. On these two words hung my whole conversation. <laughs> right. If I'm lying, I'd be struck down. I said, I'm not a Christian. And I don't give a damn about Jesus. So I won't pray for you. I'll meet you anywhere on that planet, and I assure you, I'll exercise everything I said. I said, all of him be judged on me if I'm lying. Yeah. We good now. <laughs> I ain't want to get confused. I don't want nobody to think I had that Christian heart that was going to turn me some kind of way later. Long the way, I'm just saying, I am a Christian. I don't even listen to 102.9. I don't listen to gospel. It's God's spell. I don't need no spell. I've been spelled or done enough. I'm not finna listen to God. That's a, that's, a, that's a hoax. The word actually derived from God's spell. Why would God, if he put a spell on me? See when they collect money, don't they play music? Play collection music. Because it's God's spell. They say, man, I love that gospel. That gospel is good. And that's something, don't bring that rap in him. We just for gospel. You're right. We're going to keep that spell going in. Keep conjuring and sprinkling that goober dust on them niggas. Yeah. Writing faith checks. Yeah. Yeah. Now you got to make it good. You done wrote it now. Mm -hmm. Got to make it good. You done wrote it. People been killing us a long time. But how many have took time to sit down and tell us the truth? To be, tr to be truthful, yeah, we stand alone to other people. Look at how much detriment we've got. Look at how much time we sat in these places and these folks just done ran through stuff and never explained how or why they came up with concepts. Where did you get it from? It just be come from where? Where can I verify? Can I check? Go ahead and check behind me. You're gonna go to hell for go to hell for questioning the man of God. You're gonna go to hell for fooling with the man of God. Any man God got get away from you. You want the man of Allah. I'm finna just listening to what he talks about. Listen. And the bin of Cush, Seba, and Havilah, and Sabah. Oh, who? And the bin of Cush, Seba, and Havilah. Hold what you got. Second chapter of the book about a sheep. Two and one. About a sheep, two and one. Let's see what it was even talking about, Brandon. What happened? Thus the Shamayim and the Aritz were finished. See that? They were complete. Y'all hear that? That's why Yahushua, when he was on the two, you ain't gonna believe what he said. It finished. He said, we're finished. What happened? And all the host of them. And on the Shabi'i Yum, Allahim ended his work which he had barah, and he rested on the Shabi'i Yum from the same all his thing work. That's did. When he died on the two, whether people know or not, it wound up coming in. It was a Shabbatun. It was a Shabbatun, which was the same equivalent to a Shabai, or saying of the Shabbat. The same equivalent. It was a Shabbatun. That's why he ended. He said it was finished. When the night came, Kashak came, he looked at, I got to rest. I'm done. I done did everything. That's why he told me we're finished. And he rested. Listen. And he rested on the Shabi'i Yum from all his work, which he had barah. What has happened? And Allahim blessed the Shabi'i Yum. Yeah. And consecrated it. Mm -hmm. Because that in it, he had rested from all his work, which Allahim barah, and which created and barah. Listen. These are the generations of Shamayim and you the Aritz. Go ahead. These were the generation, which means this is the genealogy of the Aritz when it was created. This is the genealogy of it. What happened? When they were bara in the Yum, that Allahim bara the Aritz and the Shamayim. Listen. And every plant of the field before it was in the Aritz. Yeah. And every herb of the field before it grew. 
for Allahim had not caused it to rain upon the Aritz, and there was not an anus to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the Aritz and watered the whole face of the ground. Yeah. And Allahim formed uh, and Allahim formed anus yeah. of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Now what people go around and believe that he created them on what they would call the eighth day, which wouldn't make sense. Because he went back to the first chapter that clearly told you that he made them in 1 and 26. Now he's going back just giving you a little more detail. They've already been created. He's now going back giving you a little more detail about things. Listen. And Anus became a living soul. And what happened? And Allahim planted a garden eastward in Eden. That's what he did. And there he put the Anus whom he had formed. Yeah. And out of the ground, bara Allahim to grow every tree that out is pleasant. Out of the ground he created or he made every tree to grow out of the ground that he created. What happened? That is pleasant to the sight. Listen. And ta'ub for food. And good for food. What happened? The tree of life also in the midst of the garden. Listen. And the tree of knowledge of ta'ub and rasha. Listen. And a river went out of Eden. A what now? A river went out of Eden. What about it? To water the garden. Like what? And from thence it was parted and became into four heads. Tell me about them. The name of the first is Pisan. Yeah. That is it which compasses the whole land of Havilah. Listen, oh, it compasses the whole land of Havilah. Wow. Tell me about Havilah. Where there is gold. Wow. Hold you got in the second chapter of the book of Matayahu. Two and four. Let me see something real quick. Listen. And when he had gathered all the Rosh Kohan and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where the Mashiach should be born. Listen. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Yehuda, for thus it is written by the Nabah, and thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Yehuda, are not the least among the rulers of Yehuda, mm -hmm. for out of these shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Yasharal. Listen. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me Dabari again, that I may come and worship him also. What happened? When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Yeah. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great Shusha, and when they were coming to the Beth, they saw the young child with Marim, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. That's right, not Mary, her name is Marim. Go ahead. And when they had opened their treasures, when they did what? Had opened their treasures. When they opened what? Their treasures. What happened? They presented unto him gifts. Like what? Gold. Uh oh. They probably went to Europe and got it. What else, son? And frankincense and myrrh. Back at the book of second chapter of the book of Barashit. So what verse you at? Seven, eight. Continuing at uh, verse 11. Oh, let them get it. Contain at verse 11. Let them get it. 2 and 11. Barashit. Listen. The name of the first is Pisan. Yeah. That is it which compasseth the whole land of Havila, Listen. where there is gold. Listen. And the gold of that land is Tau. Listen, what else? There is Delium and Onyx Stone. See that? We talk about the Onyx. Huh? We talk about the origin. These minerals actually have something that actually uh, fortifies some to our bodies. See, that's why a lot of the time you look at why we've been sick and why we're so depleted. They're taking away from places with mineral, rich minerals for us. Why do you think we're going to take so many mineral supplements we got to take now mixing in with these people? Have we stayed in our land, gold and all these different things? We had this in abundance. White people ain't gave us nothing. They ain't taught us nothing about this stuff. They don't sit around time to fall for. They all came and gave the man gold. This is what they gave the man a baby. They all came up and gave a baby gold from Havala. They got, we already had this stuff. White people ain't gave us nothing. Onyx stone, where they had it? It's used to help to separate emotion. So they know we get ourselves back to what we need and start. I got on mine now. I keep on mine. That's why I'm so, that's why, you know, it's amazing how it works. Because I keep talking about getting away from them. 
But they took that away from you, didn't they? They don't want you to keep stuff like that. Because there's certain things going to start fattening your behavior. That was the whole purpose when you had on it. It can separate emotions. You know what? I done took my emotion away from these people. Well, I'm not connected to you the way I used to. Hmm? Damn you. It worked, too. It worked. But they took it away from me. They don't want to know about that. That's amazing. The river coming out had this stuff already. Guess where all this stuff is at? Atlanta Kush. What else we got? And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. Wow. Compass all of Kush. Listen. And the name of the third river is Hidikel. Yeah. That is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And you heard about that already about Hidikel, didn't you? Who told y'all about it? Dan E. All told y'all about it. When he interpreted the handwriting, he talked about it. Because that river going to take you back over. You might rather refer to it today as the Tigris. If you make everything look like it's make-believe and gone. If you look, nothing comparison going over there to Europe. Nothing. All the rivers that came out of the garden all compassed Kush. That's amazing. You sit back to look at these people and you look at all this stuff these people want and these people trying to get. It makes sense. All of the rivers that came out from the garden and Eden, as they would so call it, was considered to be the garden of life. So the water that came out were only going to go in the place where life going to actually exist and really count. People had to come and steal from you, take down and tear down dams in order to get into you. Makes sense even when you find Yahushua. When he became, let's say, exhausted. Couldn't go any further. That woman came to him too of another nation. And she desired that she could get some of this water. But he didn't give it to her either. He really was saying to exist for us. These people have done damage to you. You don't even know what. When they tore down these dams and turned out these conduits, they did damage to you. They let that water came through. Do you not know? People don't know. I don't know if a lot of y'all know about construction. You don't know that you can take water and use water to cut stones. You can. There's a nozzle you can put on your water hole. You can use it and you direct it on that. You can cut it. Crack a bin wash it up. They cut stone, got through to us. And that took the dam, once the dam broke and the water went and it, rolled, and it go long enough, it'll wash away your pathway. See, that's why he had to come along and tell us about bringing us back. See, he said, and the way you know, but then we realized, since the water then came down and washed away the pathway, how are we going to know the way? Since they tore the dam down, they don't block, no, they don't took, the land connected. That's a man, because you go back up in the body of sheet early in the one you hear when he told her with the water. He told him let the water divide. See, these people got your script. That's how they he couldn't get me if he didn't read my playbook. There you play, y'all had playbook. If you went from Chicago to the Jets. Could you take, I mean from the Jets, could you take the uh, Jets book over to Chicago? Because then they would know their scheme. We wound up taking our playbook, and them folks took it with us and they got it. That's how they got us in their mess. With. They got our playbook, our script. This script, that they, that's how they got it. They learned how to alter to make sure you didn't get back. To make sure you, didn't have, you weren't minded. You didn't know. Hmm? And really, you know, talking about white people, I think blacks ought to quit calling each other niggas. They want you to get away from a lot of stuff. Because they start looking at your conversation, watching your dance. You, so, you will be surprised at how many of your dance culturally fit back the way you came from. They had a Danny came out of there crumping, clowning. You know what they tell you? There's a man they told you, my niggas just be clowning. That's because that's his perception. Our dance had rituals to me. When Pharaoh army drowned in the Red Sea, you ain't going to believe it. All the women went out behind with timbers. 
right behind Maureen, and they dance. Pharaoh army done drowned in the Red Sea. Everything we have is We have a dance now. One part of well, one part of Kush. Um, they have a dance they created called Zumba. You ain't gonna believe who copied it. The Spanish. When you see all the dancing, they're going. Ta, ta, ta. They took it from. It's Zumba. Zumba was a dance that was created by our people after they had been conquered by the whites. They were conquered and expelled out of Kush. And they was made to go and migrate over in Europe. They built themselves back up and came back, fought, and took their land. So they created a Zan, Dan, and they called it Zumba. Yeah, yeah, it was Zumba, Zumba. I'm thinking about the car. We're going to Zumba, Zumba, Zumba. Y'all remember that? We're going to Zumba, Zumba. Y'all remember that show? One for day. Not even again. Like Y'all remember Zumba. I don't even remember that. See, it used to be on now. Man, have a big curve you to come across that they went off close. No one number. I didn't make it up as I'm going. But listen. But the thing becomes the dance has a significance to it. Because it represented what the dance actually symbolized. It was called dancing and laughing with your friends in your own yard. Ask the cracker tell you where hokey pokey is. Ask the cracker tell you what scrap. Explain to me. Explain to me. How this is be square dancing. Nigga, this a triangle. Cracker play them all the time. What you doing? Square that. See, I tell you, you're so stupid. You don't even know shapes. Nigga need to be back in pre K. Cracker sat there. What is square dancing? Nigga, that's a triangle. See, even our dance, because it meant something. It symbolized something. So when they did it, you could see the past, then the Latinos. The Spanish come and take their people and grease their head all up. Put all those frog grease in their hair. Start running around cutting the food like they some Latin lover. Yeah. That I stole from us. They just got hit again, ain't they? They kind of swim on two sides of the fence. But first thing we do, we look at the Dominicans, all these people thinking they done gave us something. They all stole from us. We ain't stole nothing from these people. They stole from us. The dance similar, it meant dancing and laughing with your friends in your own yard. They were celebrating because they came back. They were conquered. They were displaced. They fought their way back and took their land back. They were rejoicing. That's why they were laughing. It was a similar of being happy. These are my friends. Got to got him. Nigga. What is this, nigga? Nigga look like a jackhammer. Made a fool out of us. Got a nigga in church doing a jackhammer. Oh, they brr, brr, they need to know it. They made a fool out of us. Plenty of people to define their music. They find their dancing. We are passionate people. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it's just bad. Just bad. Just bad. We're dealing with some bad people. Y'all hear me? They're just bad people. And now you come back and just look at the detriment and damage they've done to you. Let's listen. Come on for this. I have to tell you. Why do we get on this anyway? Y'all think there's something you need to know. But you think about it, though. When you just know Africa, it's less problem. It's just less problem when you know Africa. You ain't got to word yourself about nothing, and you can just believe. You just, I don't know. Folks just say, hey, just, just be like, dog. Just clap your feet. Clap your shoes. Just go back home. Right now, I'm trying to figure, how in the hell I got him? That's right. And where them damn markets come from? That thing still scare me. Yeah. I never could get over them things can't scare me. I was so glad that wicked with that and never realized the other here for wicked. Yeah. That's how they get you. The white one talk like this. That's the nigga dang. That's the snake you better watch. Yeah. Huh? Other have teach you the other one on got them shoes. They, they call you monkey. See, you thought the monkey looked scary. That's what the white man do to you. How the monkey look to y'all? Then they look scary. 
That's why the white man gunned you down. And get what he said? You like a monkey. Now, even y'all agreed the monkey looks scary. Didn't y'all agree? So what you think when I see you and I got a gun and you don't have one? What you think you look like to me? Hmm? You scare me. So I have to kill you. Because you look like the monkey. And they scary. Try to get the monkey, got the monkey all on his neck, running around, jumping around, leaf playing, go get the money, come back. But see, he had to get the psychosis, and you'd agree they scary. And you agree. Self-defense. South Carolina, man been gunned down, been killed, unarmed, running away. The jury's biggest problem was trying to decide how to stand your ground work. Because this white man was looking at, this was a scary monkey. Y'all seen the Wizard of Oz? The monkey's scary. Now, what were the police officers going to do? He said this big, bad, scary, unarmed monkey running away from him. This monkey could get a loose and go and marry a white woman and have a baby by her. Do y'all know what? How I many are not really familiar with, like, wildlife behavior, animal behavior? It's good, it's good. Do y'all know what that monkey could have did? That monkey could have gotten away, went home, got himself together, caught his child support up, been a functioning father who reared up productive children that could have gone in society, had gotten careers and not jobs, or built uh, corporations, um, got into position, and could have been somebody. Thinking about it, if I was white, I would have shot him too. See, the truth of the matter is the reason why those 11 jurors had to convey so long and keep them because they got to look at it. See, you don't look the same to them than you do to me. You're scary. You just don't know it. When the police officer in the helicopter was probably about 300 feet now, he could look down and see the man in front of him. He said, whew, that's a big scary one now. That's one they could go out and do something. Could mess around and provide and take care of his home. Could, could grow to be somebody that can be an inventor or create or something. You know, right? It become functioning for us. That's scary. Do y'all understand that? Do you not understand your blood type? The type of people you are? You won't get some and just be satisfied. You tend to dominate. Even your cousin said that about your Moab. So there's a people that had come out from. Mizraim, who covered the whole panin of the Aris. And if y'all came through that land, you do know that you would wind up lapping up all the stuff just like an ox do water. You ain't moving no ox. That ox dig. Huh? An ox plow. That ox dig itself down. You ain't doing nothing with that ox. Huh? That man look at it. all them ox coming across my land. If you come and he realize, if you taste and you like it, it's going to be bad. This is going to be bad. These jokes are subject to stay. Hmm? Be like Cousin M. Y'all ever seen um, Fred Sample? Cousin M. Okay, I can't stay long. I'm just cutting this. Go, I woke up this morning and my back and I ain't been able to move. I didn't sleep a wink. Ain't left yet. You got to create the junk man in to get them niggas out of there. See that? You see how they get you out? Think about it. See how they look. Always look at how they. How many of y'all remember the episode? TJ Pope, because what she said? Because she was going to stay somewhere else. She told him that. She said, because I don't take no handout. He said, didn't I tell you? No she proud like that. Came there and spent the night in that hell for broke down on her. Couldn't get it, but they created a disease to get out. She, tried to, she said, what? They said, a junk man in. She started, she went up there and got her clothes. And got, you ain't going to believe what they did, Chris. They said they got Ebola and AIDS in Kush. Just to let y'all know, Norman Lear is a producer and writer for that. Norman Lear is white. They put it right back in your face. You're just too stupid to see it. I know how to get you out because I know you get comfortable. She got comfortable. She looked at it. Man, I can stay here, and I tell them I'm going to cook, and I ain't cooking. They ain't going to cook. She went for the go. Do you eat pancakes and pancakes? They're like, ooh, wait. 
then she said, I couldn't get off a breath. She said, Mr. Agnew, do you like collard greens? We're going to get back, get back, and help him and sleep all day. She ain't done that. So they created a disease. See, see, when you watch these comedies, they are meant. This is, this is the problem with whites. It's no good if I can't throw it in your face. So when they show you TV shows, you got to look further than just the semantics of the laugh. They got her out through convincing her that there was a disease. They got it. It was just an it. Caused by something that was there in the junkyard. You ain't gonna believe what AIDS created from right there in Africa. Ebola. Once you get back here, you don't get it. I need to move you from that side of Cush where there's Havilah. What are they gonna do if he ain't gonna get gold? Huh? He finna bit, huh? You go there and you get gold and onyx stone. What a nigga gonna do? Now I gotta show you some people got Ebola and show you people dying with Ebola. Know that all the people that show you down with Ebola ain't in the city. Now, over in Africa, you know, Africa ain't got no building. Everybody barefoot. But crackers keep going there living. Go on the plane, two niggas, everybody white. And the two niggas on the plane, they serve it. You don't ask yourself none of these questions, huh? How is it every time they show you Ebola, it's in a village? Never in the city. Never in the capital. They show you the waters over in what they call Africa. The white, the, the blue, the clear water. They're not going to show you that. They show you villages and starvation. Killing natives who live in better and healthier than you ever going to be. They've already shown historically with these natives that they call them in now. Natives, they, you know what native means? Savages. They don't think about native mean indigenous to the land. Niggas so stupid. So what are, them natives. What did I just say? How did I hear? How did I say native and run? Native mean they're original to the land. How did I associate native with savages? I should be associating that with crackers. Everything natives say is set for a black. Native Indians say. Native whites say. Natives in Africa, them savages. These people were barbarians. They were barbarians. When they dwelt in the Caucasus Mountain in region, Mag Magog and Gog, these people are. These people were savages. These people were barbarians. This is no lie that they dwelt in caves. That's why they came down and tried to conquer and lost. We haven't been told nothing. They don't even tell us these stories. They tell us lies. They like when they came out, they were born with triangular hats, able to sell shit and rough a shirt. Then they called Prince of Fag. Nobody talk about Benjamin Franklin and rough a shirt. I had pain gay. That man, what they? they don't say nothing about them white boy. All they pirates. His Vikings were gay. The Vikings were gay. They don't talk about none of this stuff. Run each other down. All the time, make a fool out of us. We don't know these people killing us. Their knowledge has did more damage than because it suppressed your behavior. They dress you to suppress you. They've educated you to suppress you. They've medicated you to suppress you. They fed you to suppress you. Look at all the suppression you got. All these are suppression, suppression medication. You get a person again, uh, and like you get something going on, it's like a rhythm. Hold him down until I get him a shot. Break him down, suppress it. You get a cold, suppress it. Everything they've been doing is suppressing you. That's all they've been doing the whole time they had you here. And you've been thinking you've been getting cured, you've been getting better. They leave you with these diseases. They leave you with these lies. By giving you some other lies that claim you found the truth. The truth that they let you find is the truth that they hide, that they set up to keep you away from another truth. They just keep ambiguously just sending you over somewhere and making a fool out of you. Keep thinking you finding something. Oh, they found the K. That's it. That's it. 
Just use the Africa. Whole time I still got your Mizraim practice. Which means Mizraim has still been at work. See, none of these kingdoms that, that should have been destroyed should have been taken down. They still been active. They've still been active. You still sitting in Mizraim. What they call America is still Mizraim. That's why they have pyramids here. Mexico, as they teach it, is not Mexico. It's still a part of Kush. That's why they can find original pyramid. There is no reason no Spanish people would sit here and build a pyramid in Mexico. There's absolutely no reason. When they have sat here and taken geological equipment and shown they, can't, they have no equipment that can move one stone. Not one stone. That's why Yahushua is great. The teller, you see you know all these things. It will be one stone left upon another that will not be thrown down. They can't move them. All that Alexander the Great, all that Napoleon, they went. The French, these folks went to deface these things. Yep. This, do you know how much, how much deception had to be in play to move you and place other people there? To come and give it a name when it has a name. Like Yahushua has a name, meaning Y'all, salvation. Then he gave you Jesus. Moved you, took your script, changed it up, and gave it back to you. Now go do it. You know where you learned that from? You ain't going to believe this. How many of y'all watched Good Time before? How many of y'all familiar with Good Time? That was an episode. Thelma was a writer. Who remember that? Thelma wrote a play. Y'all don't, don't remember that? So y'all should never put your hands. You remember that? Damn, I wrote a play. You remember that, didn't it? A white producer seen her play, and he was going to put her play on. And he sent a white woman over there to just go over it with her. And when they got her play, they kept telling her, Mr. Sons, he, he, he want to change that word. And her family even trying to convince her. It's certain times, certain times you have to do certain things in order to try to get it out. And finally, she broke down and said, you know what? This ain't even my play no more. You changed so much of the play, you took away the originality of it. See, even with TV, you know who produced that? Norman Lear. Norman Lear. Look him up. You know what I didn't used to do? When shows go off, and said, they're done. Walk. Done. Need to see now. Something says, stop, nigga. Read them credit. I said, no, man, there's a lot of stuff. Archie Bunker. Which he wrote from his own family. You need to watch these shows. I watch them. Now when I look, I look at them different. You need to look at them credit when they go out. There's a lot more going on than what you know. They need that for their record. They know exactly who wrote it. These people write from real life events. Real life events is what they do. They write from. They find people that fit the character. The man, Carol O'Connor, was nothing like the man he acted. But they found somebody that looked the part. Archie, didn't he convince y'all? He convinced me. How many of y'all he convinced? Archie was not the man he played. Which means, this is what they do with you and your religion. They took your script, rewrote it, and took people that looked like they could play the part. And you fell for it. You fell for it. You see why you need to watch a lot of his shows? And when you watch them now, you got to stop laughing yourself to death, nigga. You got to stop finding so much entertaining. You got to sit and lock down and look at something. Who took the time and what was the mindset of the person that put this together? Hmm? That's how I look at stuff now. I had to watch a lot of stuff now. I like to know who produced a lot of stuff. Desilu Production. Who know who that is? Lucille Ball and Ricky Ricardo. The Andy Griffin Show and a bunch of them. Pay attention when they go off. They said, this has been a Desilu Production. They won't say it no more. They'll just shoot it up there. Because you know you're realizing, niggas ain't leaving like they supposed to. After the act, you supposed to leave. Sat there when they, as soon as I move up, what did everybody start doing to get the end? 
Nigga, get up, tell us how we get to the car. That, that's it. That. Sit in your seat a little bit and pay attention. I just need to watch some of the names of these characters and these people. I don't get because when I start seeing it more than one time, it's got to be a reason. Hmm? Y'all got to start doing like Neil did. Remember when Neil was walking? Come here for a minute. Let's walk. Wait a minute. We're trying to go. Let's get ready to go and go. I've seen that cat before. It's the, hold on. Was it the same cat or a cat like that cat? They wanted to know. See, you can't, it couldn't be that. He said, I could have swore I seen that cat. They stopped him. Did you, was it this, let me get, was it the same cat? That's what he wanted. Was it the same cat was a cat? He said the same cat. Quick, agents in him. Got to go. That quick. As soon as they went, agents bust out. See, you can't miss nothing because they always playing you with agents. They are always setting something up. Nigga, deja vu. I've seen that before. French. I always got you repeating something, deja vu. Nigga, what you know about something French? But other than fries. It ain't even from France. What did that show you again? Cracker steal everything. Got a nigga thinking French fries from France. Got nigga thinking they invented potatoes. It don't scare some of you, but it should. It should because it teaches you. The way you think and react is based off information that he's given you. So it's only natural when stuff happens. Come. This is our food. French fries from France. Everything you know. We're from Africa. So now you're saying you're from Rome. And he just sat back and watched you. There are people that are involved with your demise. Now, what's your job? You've got to find these agents. You've got to start learning how to identify these agents. Huh? Because now you've got to ask yourself, this is on a small portion of what you find out. What else you don't know? Let me show you something we're getting finished. I mean, we ain't, I, it's some more we can finish now. Get me, um, Beth. Dabari. I am mean. Twenty. And about eighteen. Let me see that what I want. That's amazing. Listen. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his panim to the ground, and all Yehuda and the inhabitants of Jerusalem I fell. Want to, want to twenty, Beth, twenty-two. Is it twenty-two? Should talk about Hezekiah. Is it twenty-two? Twenty-two. What does it say? 12 is the last verse of 22. 22. What's the last? Was it 23? Should deal with Hezekiah. What chapter do I want? Mm, 29? I'm going to say 29, 20. Let me see what it says. Make it 29, 18. Let me see what that says. Listen. Then they went in to Hezekiah the Malach and said, We have cleansed all the house of Yahuwah and the altar of burnt offering with all the vessels thereof and the shewbread table with all the vessels thereof. Moreover, all the vessels which King Ahaz in his reign did cast away in his transgression have we prepared and consecrated, and behold, they are before the altar of Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Then Hezekiah the Malach rose early and gathered the rulers of the city, and went up to the Beth of Yahuwah. And they brought seven bullocks, and seven rams, and seven lambs, and seven he-goats, for a sin offering for the kingdom, and for the consecrated area, and for Yehuda. And he commanded the Kahan, the Ben of Aharun, to offer them on the altar of Yahuwah. So they killed the bullocks, and the Kahan received the blood, and sprinkled it on the altar. Likewise, when they had killed the rams, they sprinkled the blood upon the altar, 
they killed also the lambs, and they sprinkled the blood upon the altar, and they brought forth the he goats for the sin offering before the Malak and you the know what I want. King Beth Malakim twenty. Beth Malakim Mal Akim, what they're gonna call King Mal Akim. Save that twenty. And eighteen is what I want. Other one, go ahead and give me that yes or Yahoo. Fifty eight. We'll do one. Be fine. We'll read that. Then I'll try to let y'all go. Listen. The last verse is 21. You want 18? Yeah. Let's see what it says. And of thy bin that shall issue from thee, which thou shalt beget, shall they take away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Y'all hear that? He just told them about what was going to happen to him. This is our, one of our great malops. He told what's going to happen. They're going to take away captive our people. And they're going to be eunuchs. Where? In the palace of the king of Babylon. You know one reason why they castrate and kept you and castrate you? Keep you from sleeping with their white women. You know why he took us and he put us inside that castle? And you go back and let Daniel, because we were beautiful to look at. When he came, that's what he looked at, our copper toned skin, our beautiful faces. I don't want you. I want to know what you, please, four. That's what you, who you made. I'm walking around here, four, three. That nigga walk around through my house. Swinging and sloshing like an elephant. <laughs> oh, I want to walk around there. What, what that? So, you going to be in my house, you going to be a unit. <laughs> I'm going to be a field nigga. I'll be out here <laughs> busting up chocolate ch ch wood. I, ain't, I don't need to be in there. I, I mean, just think about any other nation looking at having you in there. These, even now, don't get me wrong, this is not just referring to white, because these are people of color. These are people of color. You need to know this. The Babylon and Nimrod, all these people are going to refer right back over to Babylon. These are the same people, but you got to look at something. You look better. Everybody black don't look the same now. There's some ugly black folks out there. I ain't lying, but some ugly ones. Woo, woo, woo. Couple y'all in here now. I ain't going to be lying now. This is true. So this is my man. It is. It is. It's bad. It is. It's bad. I love you, though. I ain't going to let that stop me. One thing I tell folks, though, anybody made this out, I ain't finna hate you because of how you look. I might say, damn, but I ain't going to say, no, but I ain't going to hate you because of how you look. Now, I ain't going to do that. I can't, nobody, you can't do that. You got to love everybody. Ain't that right? You got to, now. So everybody black don't look the same. They look that with us, though. We were beautiful people to look at. That's why they brought him in now. They looked at dope. They were like, man, them boy good looking. Ran him in here, but, but cut that off. Cut the Johnson off. Okay. That's amazing. Because Kush people, what they call the Ethiopian, they were good. They do that today. But that's how we know there's a difference between us. Because our Lord taught us in the book of Dabari, uh, Dabari, um, um, Dabari, in the Dabari, it taught us about that concerning. He that is wounded in the stone or have his private member can't enter in the congregation. So see, when you find Kush, Kush would do that. Kush would cut his off. We said, I'm going to be out here in the field if he's working. I'm field nigga all day. I'm telling you, I'm field nigga. We can't lose nothing. Right. Huh? Might not use that all, but when I use it, I want to use it. I'm going to be in the field. Yeah. He said, you need some, some cotton pink. I'm not trying to come in and do nothing. That one of the stuff. Damn that one. I'm out here working. <laughs> you coming in that house, man. So I'm walking like this for now. I'm like, no, no, I'm going to be out here. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> Who can tell about the demerit? I'm putting on the demerit for laughing. But yeah, but that's just the truth. I ain't trying to go in that house. <laughs> Come on, man. This stuff. Then said Hezekiah unto Yahshayahu, Taub is the Dabari of Yahuwah. Which thou hast spoken. See that? He said, good. The Dabari spoke. Listen to what he said. Show he black. And he said, Is it not Taub if Shalom and Troop and Amat be in my Yamin? You hear what he said? He said, You know, I ain't, you know, they ain't gonna cut me off. Is it? I said, Check. He said, He black. we concerned. He said, He said, He said, he said the word is Taub. It's good. I can't, well, I can't fight. How y'all? You know, my. They ain't going to cut mine off. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
Ain't nobody, ain't nobody tell me to come in the house, is it? I ain't done tell you now. He black. We're going to be concerned. Yeah. All right, now. Copper don't be. We wear it. Listen. And the rest of the acts of Hezekiah and all his might and how he made a pool and a conduit. Oh, what happened now? And the rest of the acts of Hezekiah. The rest of the acts of him. What happened? And all his might. And what else? And how he made a pool mm -hmm. and a conduit mm -hmm. and brought Maim into the city. I wonder how to do that. Probably because they had a dam built. Hmm. See, that's what they do now. You know how they build these man-made lakes? See, you take, they learn all that from you, how to build a dam. And how that dam can get water to pull up. And then how you can take a river, you can channel that water into a city. See, everything I'm telling you, I can prove it. So I'm just curious, when they were going to come in and get you, this is why I was such a concern about these people trying to tear down our walls. These people knew exactly what they were doing. See, one reason of cutting you out, too, we were dying from thirst. And wait, you cut off our dam, cut off how we build up water, how we stack up, and how we, how we collect. These people knew exactly what they were doing. See, this man, we, we've been great instructors and builders and engineers. These white folks ain't taught us nothing. This, this is ingenuity. We knew this from when we were in Mizraim. Mizraim had to have water to flow into it. We had to set that up with them. They irrigate, but he said the land that he promised us, though, the best. He said, it's not like Ms. Raheem. Guess what we got? Hills and valleys. Man, we drank the do of Shamaim. We had to build conduit. We had to set stuff up and instruct and then direct the channel water in on these people. Let's look at the fifth day chapter of the book of uh, Yeshua Yahoo. Try to conclude this. Film. They better have gone. Somebody called the wrong thing, huh? Well, that's why we're here to get it right. Fifth day than one. Let's finish out here. Let's see what happens. Listen. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a truah, and show my people their transgressions and the bith of your cove their sins. Mm -hmm. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways. As who? As a nation that did Sadiq and and forsook not the ordinance of their Allahim. Yeah. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to Allahim. Yeah. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Jump down to verse 7. Make it 9. Listen. Then shalt thou call, and Yahuwah shall answer. Y'all hear that? They ain't talking about us calling. He gonna answer. Listen. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. Y'all hear that? He said, you're going to cry, and I'm going to say, here I am. That's what happened he was on the two. He answered him. Listen. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity, and if thou draw out the, thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy aur rise in obscurity, and thy kashak be as the noon yum. What happened? And Yahuwah shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, mm -hmm. and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden, yeah. and like a spring of Maim, Listen. whose waters fell not. See that? He told her that when they came down and given the cup. He said there's going to be a spring inside. That's what he told the woman at the well. He said it's going to be just like a spring on the inside. So I'm going to make you and give you back fat. And when these people came in, they starved us. These people got us through, through drought and through hunger. Huh? We dried up. We were wasting away. The book how we were going to pine away. But then he came back and told me what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back and restore water back to you. Huh? I'm going to damn this stuff back up for you. I'm going to cut these other nations out. Why do you think he told Ukanan to come? You know what he told He gave that man a, a measuring stick. You know what I need you to do, Leon? Measure out the city. Don't worry about the outside. It's for the Gentiles. They're not getting it. Measure it out. That's what we learned the premise of putting our wall up. They're not getting in. That's amazing. Huh? They're going to come up like the book said, as a thief and a robber. Huh? That's how they're going to get it, like a thief and a robber. They're not going to buy for That's how these people came in on us, as thieves and robbers. He told them what they come to do. Steal, kill. What did he tell them they were going to do? That's what they did. They killed us, and they destroyed and took down our water, took down our dam, took down our city, and they destroyed us. 
Africa. Listen. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old That's waste places. That's what I'm looking places. at. They that do what now? That, that shall be of thee. Tell them what they're going to do. Shall build the old waste places. That's what Nakum Yah was doing. That's what I come back to do. I'm coming back to build what was tore down. Hmm? That's why he told the person he was going to look at. They found, he said he going to look to the man that was of a broken, of a broken ruach. Contrite. He ain't going to believe what happened with Nakum Yah when, when the king saw him. Why, why is this sorrow hard? He said, never sorrow hard. He said, this the man I'm going to look to the news. This one will look for to put it back. See, that's what we're going to do. He said, the people that's going to come to him, we're going to be called a restorer. I'm coming to put the wall back. Listen. Thou shalt raise up the foundations wow. of many generations. See that? We're going to raise up the foundation of many generations. The old, the tombs of the people that had died before us, he caused them to come up. Listen. And thou shalt be called the, rep the repairer of the breach, the restorer of the past to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot. See that? That's what we're looking at. See, now we're seeing where the book told us it was going to be broken down. This is why he told us before. At the 22nd chapter, right here, the book of Yekazion. 22, 28. I'll try to let y'all go there. That'd be a mess. Cause a call. 28, they're going to call me Ezekiel. 22, 28. Yeah. 22, 28. Let's see what I want. Listen. And her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar. See that? Your people that divine for God. Huh? And gave you untempered mortar. What happened? Seeing vanity and doing what else? Divining lies that's, unto them. That's what they've been doing. They preacher come here. The Lord told me today somebody in this room divining lies to us. They've been all they've been doing is divining lies to us. Listen, Sue's saying, "Come on." Saying, "Thus saith Yahuwah Elohim." When what happened? Yahuwah hath not spoken. What else happened? Son? The people of the land have used what? Oppression. And what else? Exercised robbery. He told you what the thief was going to do. And what else happened? And have vexed the poor and needy. What else happened? Yea, they have oppressed the stranger, Rasha. Which is wrongfully. Or wrong, rather. Rasha is our abari word for wrong. Listen. And I sought for a anus. I ain't going to believe this one. What was he looking for? And I sought... For a anus. He was looking for an anus. Who could do what? Among them. That could do what? That should make up the hedge. To do what? Stand in the gap. Somebody got to stop it. That's what he been looking for. He folk broke in on us. So he been looking for somebody who could, what was it again, son? Make up the hedge. And do what else? Stand in the gap. For the who? Before me. Where at? For the land. So that I do what? That I should not destroy it. What did you find? None. Take all these preachers and put them together. They done become all unprofitable. That's good. 